Hi, this is Marie Cook with Texas Now Magazine, and I'm here to talk with some fantastic ladies that are putting on the Gumbo Palooza here in Lamar. And I'm with uh, Kathleen Over and Tracy Goodwin. Uh, Tracy Goodwin is the uh, owner of Pops Tavern and Cafe here in Lamar. If you haven't been there, you need to try it because it's really awesome food. Huge burgers, delicious. And Kathleen here is a fantastic jewelry designer, as evidenced by this beautiful necklace she has around her neck. Anyway, we're here to talk about what's going on with the Gumbo Palooza. And um, Tracy, why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Like, I know we're in the fifth year of it. Um, no, we, we do it twice a year. This is our fifth event. Oh, fifth event. So it's been going on for three years now. Yeah, two and a half, three years. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. And it benefits the scholarship foundation or yes. something. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? We, uh, we had some uh, friends of ours who were very upset that their children, or I guess young, young adults, didn't qualify for any scholarship or um, uh, student loans. And the reasonings were just, we couldn't, we had a hard time believing that that would be reasons why they could not qualify. Right. Um, one of the um, young ladies had cancer, and because of attendance issues, didn't qualify for any benefits. You're kidding. But she graduated cum laude. That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we were, we were a little offended that our, there's some kids that deserve to go to, to school, that can't afford to go to school, but have done what they needed to, and because of the little minor details, don't qualify for anything. Wow. So that's what sparked us to uh, try and do a fundraiser to help get them in school. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Who came up with this idea? Or was it just a... Um, Scott Adams and Ricky and uh, Crouch, Crouch yeah, Ricky and Crouch. myself, we were just discussing it one day and said, you know, we can do a cook-off. And, you know, we were like chili cook-offs, but we wanted to do something a little differently. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody down here says they can cook the best ribs or the best gumbo or the best salsa. And we're like, let's just do a variety cook-off. Yeah. So um, that's how it, it came about. Cool. cool. And now we've got more people involved that share the same feelings we do and actually see the kids that, that are going to be receiving the, uh, the, the, the scholarship funds. Uh, when is this event scheduled to happen? I know it's coming up uh, June 24th. June 24th. Sunday. Okay, so one day event, two day event. One day one event. One day event. And where is it happening? I know it's in Lamar, but... It's actually, we're allowing our business to be the site so that they don't have to pay out rent. You know, all, so all monies are go straight to the kids. We don't want any monies coming out for expenses. So we allow them to uh, hold the event here and that way they can sell, you know, the, the plates, you know, of what's been brought in to uh, to qualify to cool. win first, second, or third, if you're lucky. Yeah. Because some of us are pretty good cooks. <laughs> so does that mean that you're entering the competition, Tracy? Yes, oh. I do. And we have our little slogan. It says, if you cook the best, come challenge the rest. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who does it benefit exactly, and what do they have to do to qualify? I think maybe we already talked about the who. A little bit. Well, yeah, we started off with two kids. Right. And um, now we're up to four. We're trying to raise as much money to add more kids. Because right. we found that we were having a lot of people come and ask for applications. And we just didn't realize how many kids are out there that are not getting some support or help. Um, so we have applications here at Pops. You can come pick them up here. You must be passing. I mean, you, you can't have F's, and, but right. you know, you, you have to show that you you're, you've been dedicated to your school, your education. You have desire to continue education. Um, so we ask for your you, you got to bring us your um, your school records of your grades for just high school. Right. Um, we have an application for them to fill out, and there's a lot don't of they have questions. To do a, don't they have to fill out a short essay mm -hmm. on there too? Yeah. Oh, that's good. And it's not just for the kids who want to go to a community college or whatever. They want to go to culinary school. They want to go to welding school. Oh, really? You know, wow. I mean, plumbing, you know, whatever. We want, we want to help. Because it is expensive to go to school now. It's, it's just ridiculous what kids are going into debt for. Yeah. So we decided that we would open it up a little bit. So. 
I think that's, that's great. Well, tell me about some success stories. Like, give, give me a really good success story. Someone um, that's completed. We uh, have one young man who's going to dental school. Wow. And really? doing very well. He he was one of the original uh, applicants, uh -huh. and we've maintained him through the whole time because his grades, you know, have shown that he's got the desire to, to, to have a, a career. Um, and the young lady that we had mentioned with the uh, the cancer. Um, she had all A's and B's her first semester in college, which is very difficult to do. You know, y'all just might inspire other, you know, counties and school districts to try and start start this type of a program I hope themselves. So. Yeah. Well, that's what we're supposed to do. We're There's, supposed to yeah. help each other. There's so many kids out there that want to go to school, and for whatever reason, they can't get loans, they can't get grants. You know, it's like I think you had one yep. student that couldn't get it because his parents had problems with the IRS, so he couldn't get anything for school. Oh. And, it is, and it's hard to, you know, for, to work and go to school, and then and what the economy is, is you can't find jobs. Either. Yeah. So and they can't really support themselves when they go to school. So yeah, let's just, uh, you know, punish the children. Exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, but that's right. who's going to be taking care of us in another exactly. 20 years. And hopefully <laughs> this also makes them in the future return in kind what they experience. Pay it, pay it for Exactly. Right. Yes. Eight categories. Okay. Um, and we start off with Bloody Marys, since it's Sunday. Okay. So we have uh, one category is Bloody Marys, and then once it's been judged, we're, we'll resell. We well, we don't, but the uh, the organization sells. Okay. Then the next category is Salsa. Salsa. Wow. Then we have uh, margaritas. margaritas, because it's in the afternoon now. <laughs> and then we've got gumbo, and we have uh, potato salad, we have ribs and we have brisket, um, brisket. and I and chili. Chili, we have yeah. chili. Wow, chili you're also. judging each one of these different. Right, Whoa. exactly. <laughs> and, and Ricky, Ricky um, runs that whole uh, area, the judging. The judging. And, and he's he's actually done judging in Terralingua. Wow. So he's got experience in it. So and it's all basically anonymous. Um, you turn it in and you get a ticket. So they don't know who it is. Just a matching ticket. I also want to take this time to thank all of the, the community that we go to, mm -hmm. to to help support and donate for the live auction. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do this. Right, yeah, so definitely. it takes this entire community for this, whether they know it or not, to make this function work. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is a wonderful community. I mean, you know, if people don't know where Lamar is, they need to come check it out. It's beautiful here. I mean, seriously, y'all are just this wonderful little jewel tucked just back here, you know, if you don't know where to turn in, you know. Goose <laughs> Island State Park, that's where we are. Yeah, wow. And I've got to ask you, Tracy, give me the history of this beautiful piece of art back here. It look, you know, when I first looked at it from a distance, it looks like, wow. And then you get up closer, and you get up closer, and it's like, whoa, they're all they're beer cats. Yeah. I mean... Who did this? Like, there was um, seven of us. We were redoing the bathrooms, and so I wanted a mural, but something different. I didn't yeah. want what everybody else had, so I, I don't know. I, I came up with this weird idea. We already have bottle caps from, you know, <laughs> serving beer. And um, Laylis, who's an artist, he, he, he said, I think we can do this. Uh -huh. So he tinkered with it, and sure enough, it started looking like a fish. So about seven or eight of us worked on this on this event. It took us uh, about two to three weeks. That's amazing. It's it's just I love it. Mm, it's really nice. It is just it just it's beautiful. And then you've got some type of like what a lacquer and epoxy. Or epoxy. Okay. Yeah, it's really really neat. And I, I noticed you've got the one across the way too. Good job. You know, I also want to thank you all, um, Texas Now. They were also very generous and supportive and donating for the uh, Lamar Gumbo Palooza. Oh, and we do appreciate you. that. Well, thank thank you. you. Well, we appreciate y'all. I mean, yeah. two angels here along with other big helpers in oh, this yeah. event. We but, have fun, though. We, yeah. we have... We're glad it's over at the end I of the know, day. I know, I know. It's right. a lot of work. But we have a, we have a good time. We have but, a I mean, time. the kids are so appreciative. Um, yeah, and they walked away with, what, 2,000 each? Each last per semester. Time. So that, yes. that helps, and that's for... That's their super. Books, tuition. I mean, it's really super. Or as the kids say, that's sweet. Yeah. Sweet. And hopefully, we're hoping that we can hit twenty thousand. That that would take less to do if we could do twenty thousand. That's why we're really trying to get the flyers out. Um, we're having a meeting here Tuesday night, and then we get the flyers, and we're thinking 
There's so many things that are going on right now in, in Rockport, you know. And, and it and does go through a nonprofit organization. Yeah. So you'll get a, uh, you know, you're formed where you can write off oh, the donation. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's, that's we good. are 501c3. That's so, really yeah. good to know. So that's, that's a good thing. But yeah, it's, that's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm well, excited. I always say it's going to be fun. The it's closer it gets, the more excited I am. I know, but it's yeah. nice because last year... And I'm getting first place in every category. Whoa, so. that sounds like I a challenge. So. I need some challenge. It is no, a, no, she's no. I'm, a I'm challenge. Taking, I'm oh taking you on the Bloody Marys. Okay. Oh. George will get you on the brisket. <laughs> so. All right, there is some competition. Yeah, there's a little bit of competition. And we do, and there, the cooking is not done on site. Okay. So we don't really have the room. So you cook it and you bring it. Bring it. But... Our judges are pretty good, so they'll know if that's that H-E-B package fajita that you're bringing in here and cooking. Or if it's a can of Wolf brand chili that you open up. That. I've got a specialty that I do, and I'm not sure what I would enter it in. It's, it's chili, but it's like a chili gumbo. Uh, people have had it, and it, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what my secret. Or you can make it twice and put it in each category. As long as oh, no. <laughs> idea. oh, I like that one. As long as there's no beans in the chili. Yeah, it's a no bean chili. No bean chili. Because oh, that's not. Dang. Yeah, because I did, but I could, I could lay off that. There's, oh, mm -hmm. I have some time to think about it. And the plates will be seven dollars. We're going to sell the plates. And then that's, that's very that nice. Yeah, cool. and bowls. Yeah, and bowls too. The plates are seven dollars. We have bowls are bowls fine, in the club. I, think. I, don't, yeah. I think so. Not okay, and then the, is there an entry fee for coming yes. to the event? I didn't think about that. Yes, there is. Okay. It's, it's fifteen dollars for the drinks. For, for drinks, because alcohol can cost. Right. You right. have to put the alcohol in it. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and bring it that way. Um, and the food is twenty per category. Okay. Drinks okay. fifteen per category. There's well, two drinks. And all the contents get donated so the kids can sell. Okay, wonderful. So, yeah. Sounds like a good deal to me. I can't wait. I can't start either. My, I mean, we're really my excited. Entry. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as we get done, we'll probably relax one day, and then it'll be off to October. So we'll have another one in October. What's the date on the one in October? It's the third Sunday. Third in Sunday. October. Because it's Halloween the last day. Right, weekend. right. Well, you pick the best times of the year to do it, spring and fall. Mm -hmm. So the weather should cooperate. Well, this event so far. will benefit the fall semester. Right. And the one in October benefits the spring, spring semester. Gotcha, gotcha. Your bigger sponsors that are, you know, you've got signed on board. I know, I know you guys are still looking for sponsors, uh, but. We, we do receive a lot of cash donations, some, you know, $50. I mean, we, we'll take any cash donation. We also will take any kind of in-kind donation that we can put in live auction. Oh, cool. But, you know, in the past and, and currently, Budweiser has just going through the roof. Each year they're doing more and more, and this year they're really stepping up to the plate. Yeah. Um, we're, we're really proud of that. Um, and some of the fishing guides donate trips. Wow. Yes, some airboat rides. Oh, boats. really? Yes. Uh, jewelry. Uh, we get all kinds of beautiful, like Samuel's Diamonds in Corpus Christi. Wow. Donated a diamond heart necklace. Well, you know, I love jewelry, and I know that this woman here, Kathleen, is a fabulous jewelry designer. I'm going to have this piece. I'll I'm have hoping a piece. you're going to have something. I'll have, I'll have a piece or two. Well, and, <laughs> and Texas Now has, has also donated a, 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 an ad. Yes, that's we have. A, a large ad mm -hmm. that's very expensive. Mm -hmm. and, and so that, that's nice. The skimmer, they donate, you know, for Well, well you know, and, and, and for the sponsors out there, I mean, you know, let's let's get me a list. Y'all come and in. Y'all can get your and name. And we have a real estate that yes. has a donated. We a, have a real estate lady who donated a, a, a condo for two yeah. nights for $750. Well, we need to let, let these people know, you know, the first however many that we have room for, we'll right. put them in the ad on the Magazine. And receive credit right in, as it being as being a uh, sponsor mm -hmm. for the Gumbo Palooza. And ladies, thank you so much for being here and allowing Texas Now to you know be part of the the fun of Gumbo Palooza. And mm -hmm. can't we wait. thank y'all. We thank much. you guys because and we really want to get it out there. You but know? I mean, really thank y'all because you know without y'all, those kids. I mean, we, yeah. And I'd like to thank the ones that have worked this event every year. You can have Scott and Rhonda Adams. We have Susan, Ricky, Ricky. Crouch. We have Betty Styles. Um, we have Kathleen and George. Um, we have Robin and Layla Leonard. My husband, Ronnie Goodwin. Uh, without them, th th we 
So we need to say thank you to all of them as well. We all have our own special little talents and it just seems to come together really well. Wow. Well, that's wonderful and I can't wait. And everybody, let's just give them a big Lamartian. Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> okay, for more information about the Gumbo Palooza, go to TexasNowMag.com. The event is free. Drinks. Entries for drinks is $15. Uh, for the food category, it's $20. But, people, the event is free. So come on out and support the kids and have some wonderful food, friends, and fun.